by the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back. Uh, Canelo stops Caleb Plant in 11. A really good fight. We're going to get into it, break it all down. But before we do, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Uh, 3D Boxing comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please also subscribe to the other channel. Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube, completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. Um, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery, and we're going to be up to uploading some lot more content to that uh, tomorrow and the next day. A really good uh, local fight. Um, we got some takes there that I want to uh, update for you. All right, let's get into today's show. Um, really good fight. Um, I had Caleb Plant up on the cards. Um, I had him up 6-4. At the time of the stoppage, I know that's going to be a hot take. Look, um, Caleb Plant was doing really good work. He was out jabbing him. Canelo was trying to steal the round, and and the crowd was erupting, and the crowd was roaring every time he come close. But you got to be professional. You got to score the fight, score the punches that are landing. And uh, I, I thought, you know, Can- uh, Caleb Plant um, was kind of. I don't want to say controlling the action, but he was he, he was the ring general in there. I thought he was landing more cleaner blows, but you could tell, you know, uh, it was one of the things where I, I thought Caleb Plant was winning um, the war, uh, the battle, but Canelo was winning the, the war. And, I, you know, I, even though I had Caleb Plant up and I, and, and I picked Caleb Plant to win, um, I, I could see what was coming. Right, um, you're not going to survive the onslaught that is Canelo for 12 rounds. Um, Caitlin Plant did as good as you could. Look, this is not the same Canelo that lost to Arislandi Lauder. First, Laura hits harder than Caitlin Plant. Second, none of these guys are as good as Lauder was at that particular time. And third, it's not the same Canelo. This Canelo is drastically better. This Canelo does far, far better work than that one. Than, than, than you know. This Canelo does far better work. He's had much better head movement. He has a much better jam. He gets inside and works better. He's physically stronger than that one. This is a peak in Canelo Alvarez. God, if you don't, you, you're not just going to win rounds. You know, they said they had a game plan, a best of seven, first one to win seven rounds. You're not going to beat Canelo that way. Like, you're not going to beat him that way. Look, the first round he did good. Second round he lost. Third round I thought Caleb Plant did good again. Four, five, and then there were rounds that, they, that you could score for, but you could see his posture, his body language. He was coming forward. He was circling, and by the eighth, ninth round he was in defensive mode. He was hurt. He was being broken down. If you don't slow Canelo down, and by slowing I don't mean popping him with the jet. I mean you better dig in and, and you better land power shots, or you better land it right here. You better work his body. You got to get to his body. You got to slow him down, break him down. Remember when we used to talk about Canelo having gas tank problems? Boy, that's ancient history. Boy, that's ancient history. Canelo is such a beast, right? Right now, Canelo's the best one. If you're going to try to be a mover and beat Canelo, you got to take his legs out from him. You can't just hope to win enough rounds and survive and run out the clock. It's not going to work because he's going to. This is what's going to happen when you try to run out the clock against Canelo. You gotta slow him down. You gotta dent him, right? Flick the jab up up top. You know, Caleb Plant's got a good jab. He was using it. He wasn't using it enough. Keep him busy upstairs. Hit him, rock him in the body. Hit him in the body. You know what I'm saying? If he counters you, he counters you. But do you I mean, look, if you fight to survive against Canelo, this is what's gonna happen. You gotta fight to beat him. And I mean beat him up. Because, you know, right now, I, I don't know the game plan to beat Canelo. Okay, being a slick mover isn't going to – that that was it eight years ago. That's not it anymore. Um, I, I, once, I, I heard that interview. I said, this is, not, this is not the game plan that you want to implement if you're Canelo. you got to slow him down. you got to rip him to the body. 
like I said, keep the jam pumping in his face, rip the right hand to the body, rip it. You know, like hit him right in the sternum 10 times, slow him down, take his, take his wind out of him. Because if you don't, if you just try to outbox him, first of all, I don't know that you can. How did you guys have it? I know scorecards were all over the place. That's fine. There were a ton of swing rounds. How did y'all have it? Who did you have up? We're going to get into the judges' scorecard because that was atrocious again. Um, but how did y'all have it? Did you did you guys even think Caleb Plant was outboxing him, winning rounds? I, he may not have been. I, I, I had a little bit of my card 6-4. You could have it 6-4 the other way, maybe 7-3 the other way. 6-4 probably one way or the other in that range is where the fight was. But you can tell, okay, Caleb Plant's doing okay. He's actually doing well and he's winning rounds, but he can't win the fight this way. This is that that's not the blueprint to beat Canelo anymore. You you, you gotta hurt him, you gotta slow him down. Um so now I I, I do want to get to the scorecards, right? Because it was uh eight two, seven three, six four. How come six four is fine? So I I didn't see what judge had it, which six four is fine. The other two, um, eight two and seven three. How come every round, every close round goes to Canelo? I'm not saying it's a conspiracy. I'm not saying judges are being paid off. I'm just asking a question. It's a legitimate question. Why does every single close? We saw this with Kovalev. We saw this with Jacobs. How come every single close round goes to Canelo? I just look at a box of Twitter people had a plethora of scores, but not at ringside. At ringside, all judges, all these judges. Steve Weisbell is terrible. He's terrible. He's Harold Letterman 2.0. He just scores for the fight for the, the fighter coming forward. Um Moretti is is the worst. Right? M- Moretti was the top right. Moretti scored Jesse Vargas. He scored six rounds for Jesse Vargas against Manny Pacquiao. That's how bad he is. But they keep using these same judges who are terrible, and they just are 100 years old now. Um, it's time for some new blood in, 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 in the judges. Let's get some younger judges in here. Maybe ones I can still see. Um, but again, those cards are bad. Those two cards, the 7 3 1 is as Far wide as possible. That means you gave every single close round to Canelo. 8-2. Again, that's an atrocious scorecard. We can't have judges like that. This was a very close fight at the time of the summer. On the cards, I understand Canelo was was winning the, the storyline. He was doing what he wanted to, which was extend the fight, break him down, and get him out. And I, I don't understand how this is still the game plan with Canelo. He can now hit a moving target. First off, Billy Joe, Caleb Plant, you're not Eric Londe Lauder. It's not the case. Um, next, Canelo's the better fighter than he was is now, now than he was then. That's not the game plan anymore. All right, let me know what you guys think. Obviously, I'm worked up. Um, we're in the middle of the Canelo era, you know, Canelo is the best fighter in the world. It's it's his time. It's his era. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, who do you guys want to see him next? I I, I think it's going to be Charlo Benavides next. One of those two. I, I don't know which one. Yeah, you know, this is November. When does Canelo come back? Does he fight three times again next year, or does he wait till May and fight Benavides on Cinco de Mayo? I don't know. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. What's next for Canelo? Is there anyone? Who can offer up uh, and beat Canelo? Let me know. Um, Remember to subscribe to this channel. Also, the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, where all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. We'll be uploading a ton of content over the next few days on that channel. Uh, It is November 6, 2021. Ivan Calderon is not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.